Hey folks, I'm Kyle Lamb. I'm here to talk a little bit about shooting through windshield glass on your vehicle. Some civilians say that you would probably never need to do this, but you just never know what the situation is. And uh, I'd rather train before I needed it in that real world scenario. And just so you kind of understand what's going to happen. There's a lot of experts out there that will tell you exactly what's going to happen when a bullet goes through glass. And I can tell you what, they probably haven't shot enough glass because a lot of the things that they say are when the bullet hits the windshield, it's going to turn and go up. When it goes this way, it's going to turn and go down. If this was a flat piece of glass, that might be true, but we've also got to deal with the curve here. So just to keep everything more realistic, we've actually got a target set off at a 45 degree from the right front quarter panel here. We're going to shoot through this windshield glass and use some Hornady critical duty ammunition. So I'm going to jump in there. I'm going to give it a shot, see what happens. I'm shooting out of a Smith & Wesson m and shield, which is a pretty short barrel pistol. And uh, we'll jump in here and try it out. Make sure you got some protective equipment on when you're doing this. It's, it's a good idea to have long sleeves. I'm only going to take a couple shots through here, so I'm not real concerned about that. But I do have my gloves on. And uh, don't be sucking in a bunch of blown up glass while you're in there. So take your shots and then get out of the vehicle. All right, let's try it out. Ready? All right, let's go take a look at this target and see what happened. Kind of as predicted, that first round had a hard time getting through the windshield. That's just the way it is. If this was a little bit closer, it wouldn't have been an issue, but I was aiming here, and that first round hit up in that general vicinity. And then we have the last two rounds hit here, even though I was still aiming there. The bottom line is you're, if you're going to shoot through a windshield, P for plenty. You've got to put our sights on the target, shoot till we eliminate that threat. You can't just say, well, if I hold in this spot, I'm actually going to get that rounded impact because curve this way, angles, you just don't know. So make sure you look at that threat, engage that threat, and keep engaging that threat until that threat's eliminated. All right, I think we should do some more of that.